This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.
Let church say amen. Amen. Let church say amen again. Amen. 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 Good morning and blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. It amen. It's certainly wonderful to be in the house of our God and our King one more time. Amen. And I want to thank you for being with us, those of you who are in person. And certainly to those of you who are joining us virtually by Facebook Live. Amen. Bless you all for joining us on this day. And we thank God for another time that we can come and worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. So I want to join our hearts and our hands and our voices. Join collectively that we might praise God because he is what? Worthy, worthy to be praised. praised. And you all do know that because we are alive and because our heart is still beating, because the blood is still running warm in our veins, we should have a praise on our lips and thanksgiving in our hearts. Why? Because God did not have to wake us up. Mm -hmm. I said God did not have to wake us up. He didn't have to start us on our way. And so since we are here, since we are alive, since God has blessed us one more time, we got a reason to rejoice and praise his holy and righteous name. That's why the Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. What? All ye lands, serve the Lord with what? Gladness. And, 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 and come before his presence with what? Singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are what? His people and the sheep of his pasture. Then he gives us instructions. Enter into his gates or to his church with what? Thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and what? Bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. So let's praise God. We won't be long today, but while we're here, let's have a good time in the name of the Lord. Let's give our cross and love as they come in their own way this morning. Amen. Let's bless God on today.
school. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God a hand praise. Amen. Amen. Well, good morning, everybody. But this is the day that the Lord has made and we come to do what? Rejoice. Be glad in because it. Because God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. And every day with Jesus. It's sweeter than the day before. And every day with Jesus. I love him more and more. Come on, come on, come on. Bless God on this wonderful day that he has made for you and me. We just come to worship him because God is good, isn't he? Amen. I should I say, ain't he? Yes, he is. Amen. Y'all know what I'm saying. He is a wonderful, yes, he is. gracious God, our Father who Amen. is in heaven. Amen, amen, amen. Well, good God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Especially those who are, are watching us by Facebook Live. There, there, there are those who are in town who are watching. Our members who are watching who are at home. And then there are those who are in Texas that are watching us. Uh, Reverend Holloway is doing better over there in Oklahoma City. Amen, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. He's able to say his name now. He is he's standing. He's not quite yet walking, but he is standing. Amen. Amen. So he is doing better and better. So let's keep on praying amen. for him. Amen. The progress is good and the process that he's going through. And so let's pray for his patience. He get a little bit impatient at times. And I understand because we know Reverend Holloway. He He's a talker and he's a mover. Man. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. But let's continue to pray for him and pray for his yeah. family. Man. And thank God for his mother who keeps us informed. Amen. 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 The homegoing service celebration for Sister Mildred Nash will be this Thursday here at the church at 11 a.m. So it wants to be on the point to come and, and celebrate her life. Thank God for what she has done and what she meant to her family as well as to this church. Thank God for, for her and we, we praise God that she has now received her eternal reward. Amen. 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 She don't have to worry about this stuff down here no more. No Amen. Amen. And all that stuff. She is happy over in heaven. I'm sure she would tell you she would not trade heaven for earth. Amen. 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 So let's be here. Sister Rose is going to uh, get us some point as far as dinner. So whatever she needs us to do, let's do that. Amen. So ladies, y'all help us in, in that area to, to uh, get the food together and to serve and to just do what we need to do to uh, help ease the, the burden a little bit of, the, of this, this family. So let's be praying for them. We know earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot hear, but death still hurts. Man. It still is painful. It's still a struggle. So let's be in prayer for the, for the family. Amen. Because of the Thursday service, uh, no choir rehearsal, that day you all just go, go on back home. We would have done enough on that day. Amen. And we will get back here for our uh uh, worship on, on next Sunday. Amen. 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 Well, thank God for you all. Uh, we, we pray and hope that things are well in your life. If not, just hold on, hang on, and hold out. God will handle it. Amen. Amen. And and, and Sister Lewis said something to us uh, this morning uh, that really need, needs to be said too. That you know, if if you are um, by yourself, let somebody know where you're going, where you're gonna be. Amen. It's very important uh, that uh, when we're traveling in this barren land in which we live in, we, 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 somebody need to know where we are and they'll keep up, up with us. We never know what's going to happen in, in life, and so we somebody needs to at least kind of know uh, our whereabouts to, to help keep up, keep up with us. And uh, not that we're trying to be nosy. We just want to make sure everybody is safe. Man. And, and make sure everybody's safe. You know, this crazy world which we live in. And we need to pray for our city. Y'all, all these shootings that are going on. I mean, it's crazy what is going down in our city. And, uh, and, if, you, and if you think it's bad here, don't go to Chicago. Yeah. And 72 deaths over the weekend. 72 deaths over the weekend. 400 and something shootings. 
in Chicago alone mm. Mm. over the weekend. So you think it's bad here, just go there. It's, it's worse everywhere, but it's just bad that it has to happen. Amen. 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 Well, good God bless you. It's time to, it's time to give. Uh, why don't you come on, Brother Brother Urban, and just come from just right where you are, and let's give back to God what he has given to us, a portion of that, I should say. Amen. I never we'll ask, too, that we got some cosmetic things that needs to be done to our building, so I ask that you give a little extra to that. Um, we got to get our parking lot redone, and so there's so many projects we got to get done. I believe that was a sister Irvin. To, to the Irvins, I believe. Yes. <laughs> Amen. 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 Won't, you, won't you introduce them to us? That's my one of my twin sons, Dwayne Reed. <coughs> his little girl, Denver Reed. Oh, all right. And his niece. Come on, 
let's pray and say pray for me. We all got unanswered questions. We got 
there's problems that need solutions, God. And so, God, we come to you, God, because only you, God, have what we need, God. Only you, God, can answer our questions. Only you, God, can do what we need done, God, in our lives. So, God, we just come to you because, God, you are bigger than our problems. Yes, Lord. You're bigger than our issues. Yes, God. You're bigger than our circumstances, yes, God. So, God, God, as your children, we come to you as our yes, Father, yes, looking unto Lord. the heels. Yes, but which cometh our help, knowing our help comes from you. Yes, God. Lord, who made heaven and earth. Yes, Lord. God, as we come, we ask that your will will be done. Yes, Lord. On earth as it is in heaven. And yes, we know, God. God, that what happens in heaven happens on earth. We know, God, everything going to be all right. We yes, may not yes. Like it. We may not understand it. It may confuse us. It may befuddle us. But, God, we know if your will is done. Everything is going to work out for our good and for your glory. For we know you get the glory. We're going to get the victory. And everything is going to work out all right. God, we come this morning asking for the forgiveness of our sins. God, yes, we Lord. all have sinned. Please, God. Fall short of your glory. Yes, yes. God, daily, we, we missed the mark. And so, God, we come asking that you would please forgive us. Forgive us for wrong things said, wrong thoughts that come into our minds, and forgive us for going the wrong direction. Forgive us, God, for not getting it right, God. But, God, we plead with you, don't give up on us. Yes, Lord. God, please don't give up on us. God, we can't make this journey. Please, God. We, we, can't, we can't go through this maze of life, this hell of life, God, that we live in. We can't do it without you, God. We can't travel without you. We can't see without you. We can't hear without you. We can't feel without you. We can't. We cannot do without you, God. So God, don't give up on us. Please, God. Please forgive us Please, for all God. the things we've done. The sins of commission and sins of omission. God, forgive us for doing those things you told us not to do, and forgive us for not doing those things you have commanded us to do. Yeah. And God, for a moment, we pause. And say thank you for the life of Sister Nash. Yes, Lord. Thank you for a service to yes, her family. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you for a service to the Tulsa Public School System. Yes. Thank you for the service of this here, her church, the Great Mile family. Thank you, God, for her spirit. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God, for her energy. Thank you, God, for allowing her to serve in any capacity that you have allowed her to serve in these many years, God. Thank you, God, for allowing her to go to her eternal home and receive yes, her yes. eternal reward, God. So, God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For using her in a mighty yes, way. Yes, God. And being an example of what it means to be a servant of the Lord God. Yes, God. So, bless God, her family. Strengthen them, comfort them, and remind them that earth has no sorrow. No sorrow. That heaven cannot hear. Yes, God. Continue to bless Sister Bugs. Continue to bless Reverend Holloway and his family. Yes. Continue to bless all those who are down and out physically and mentally, emotionally. And continue to bless us financially, God, and spiritually, that we might grow stronger and better in your word, God. Help, help us to stay in your word, God. Help us to stay on your our knees and stay connected to you. Because, Lord, we know that if we hold on to your unchanging hand, we can make it through any situation that comes before us. Now, God, continue to bless us as we go into the rest of this service. And we pray and hope that you will be glorified yes, through God. all that we do. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, we ask it all and pray. Let every heart say amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
ain't know nothing about Jesus and his love.
on and praise God. He is worthy. He's worthy. I said, be worthy. Joy will 
will move out of sorrow. Weakness will be ran off by your strength. Give us a word, God, that will shine a light in a dark place in somebody's life. A word that will be like gasoline to a car engine that we can keep running this race and keep fighting the good fight of faith. God, we're in a troubled world, but we need an on-time word from you today, God, to help us, God, as we try to find our way through this maze called life. So, God, we love you, we honor you, and our ears are open and our hearts are ready to receive what you have to say to us on this day. We pray that what we do here, that you will be glorified. Jesus will be lifted. Now, I hear him say, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. So, God, thank you for the privilege of preaching. But thank you for the privilege of receiving your word. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and hallelujah. Well, good God bless you. We are not, for real, not going to be before you long. We want to get in and get out and uh, get ready for what God has prepared for us this week. So if you will stand and go to me with two passages of scripture today. Uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. And then we're going to move over to James chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. James chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. Thank God for you all. Thank God for our first lady. Thank God for our officers and all our members of our church. Amen. Whatever capacity you are in, we thank God for you. You're in the choir, you're the usher, drummer, uh, musician, piano playing, and uh, just, just, just Holy Ghost hand waving. Whatever it is you do, thank God for it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Appreciate you all. Love you all. And guess what? It's absolutely nothing you can do about it because I'm going to love you anyhow. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's the way God loved me. He loved me in spite of me. Amen. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14, and then James chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. If you have it, say amen. Amen. If you don't have it, tell me to wait. <laughs> Shout it out loud. Wait. I'm going to wait. I'm just not going to what? Wait long. <laughs> amen. 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 Praise God for the children that are here. Amen. 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 That song kind of got me fired up. Amen. 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 Lord, that verse, both of those songs, man. Woo. Didn't God do it? Amen. Amen. He is a wonderful God. I don't know how people can live without it. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. You're, you're very familiar with it. It reads like this. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Now run over to James chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. James chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. James asked a couple of questions here. He says, is any among you afflicted? Another word would be suffering. Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Mm -hmm. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church mm -hmm. and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of of the Lord. That is enough. You may be seated in the presence of God and may God bless the reading again of his word. Let the words of my mouth and mm -hmm. meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. 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 So good God bless you. Just, just for a little bit, I want to talk from this subject. Life happens. Hmm. Amen. Life. Happens. How many of y'all know that life happens? Yes, it does. Life 
happens. Yes, it does. Regardless of what's, what is around, we know life happens. happens. Yeah. Amen. Whether we want to, 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 to admit it or not, life happens. Come on, give God a hand praise for what he is about to tell you about life happens. You don't have to be a, a rocket scientist to know that this world in which we live in is full of of trouble. Well, uh, this world in which we live in is full of, uh, of pain. It's full of uh, issues. It, this this world we live in is full of trouble. As a matter of fact, Job said, "A man born <laughs> of a woman a is a few days yeah. Yeah. and full of trouble." Come on, somebody, help me preach my little Easter speech. Yeah, yeah. It's full of trouble. Mm -hmm. What Job was saying to us that life happens. Yeah. And part of life's happiness is trouble. Yeah. A part of life happening is problems. Yeah. Trials are a part of life happening. Tribulations come when life happens. <laughs> Financial issues is a part of life happening. Death is a part of life happens. Yeah. Sorrow and pain and bad circumstances are a part of life happens. Crime and people doing crazy and stupid stuff is a part of life happens. This is all a part of what the Bible says to us that life happens. Yeah. But I come this morning with some holy instruction. Yeah, yeah. Some holy commands with some holy imperatives that we must do to succeed and survive when life happens. happens. Yeah. We know life's going to happen, but we got to be on point and to know what to do, when to do it, how to do it when life happens. I got three things I'm going to throw at you and then I'm going to move out of your way. But there are three things that the Bible shares with us on what to do when life happens. Yeah. The first thing we must do is press on. All right. All right. When life happens, we must press on. Look at what Paul told the Philippian church in verse 14 of chapter 3. He says, brethren, he, he says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Paul says when life happens, we must press on. Yeah. Yeah. Here in this passage of scripture, the apostle Paul was bound captive in Rome and regulated to a life of confinement and isolation. Yeah. But yet, even though he was in prison, he still yet pressed on. Mm -hmm. Paul refused to allow difficult circumstances to dictate his life and his ministry. No matter where he was and what was going on with him, yeah, yeah. Paul pressed on. Yeah. Paul knew that if he didn't press on, that he wouldn't reach the mark or the goal of a high calling in Christ Jesus. Oh, the message to you and me today is that no matter what's going down in your life, yeah, yeah. the good, the bad, and the ugly, yeah. you and I got to press on. You see, quitters yeah. never win. Yeah. And winners never quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me give you an example. If you decide to, to travel to Dallas, Texas, normally most of us would, would make what we call a pit stop in one of the little towns before we get there. What's the name of that little town that we used to stop in? Uh, I can't call the name. I can't call the name, but, but usually we stop in uh, Atoka. 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 No, we stop, we make Thank a pit you. stop in Atoka, Oklahoma, That's it. where they have several nice places that we can stop and, right. and take a break and, and get something to eat and try to refresh. And you, and, 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 but the thing is, that's just a pit stop. Yeah, and, yeah. But, but if you stay in a token, you will never get to your destination of Dallas, Texas. Yeah. So what, all we're trying to do is get refreshed 
get revived and maybe get a little gasoline in the engine and so that we might keep going on and reach our destination of Dallas, Texas. You all do know what a pit stop is. Yeah, yeah. You, you do know what a pit stop is, but just in case, <laughs> just in case somebody is listening who don't understand what a pit stop is, a pit stop, if you ever watch the race car drivers, yeah. NASCAR, Indianapolis 500, Daytona 500, you will see the racers. They're, they're racing around in a circle, and they racing and racing. And then all of a sudden, they'll pull off yeah. into what is called the pit. Yeah. They're making a pit stop because now they need to get refreshed. They need to get gasoline in the car. They need to get fresh tires. They they, 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 they need to get oil in, in, the, in, in the engine. They need to get whatever it is they need to get. And then once they get done with that, they get back in the race. Yeah. But if they stay in the pit, they cannot have a chance to win the race. What I'm trying to tell you is that trials are just a pit stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Troubles are yeah. just a pit stop. Yeah. Trials is just a pit stop. You're not to remain there. I'm here to tell you, you're not to remain there. They are just pit stops. See, troubles and problems come with this territory. Grief and death come with this territory. Pain and sorrow come with this territory. Watch this. If it ain't one thing, it's another. It's another. Yeah. It comes with the territory, yeah, yeah. but they are just pit stops. And that's where we get refreshed. That don't sound right, do it. But that's where we get refreshed. Yeah. We get renewed. Yeah. We get invigorated. And we get revived. And then we get back in the race yeah. so that we can press on toward the mark and the goal of Christ Jesus has for you and me. So Paul tells you and me that when life happens, yeah. press, on. Press, on. press on. Press on. And then Paul's got a friend named James, the mm -hmm. brother of Jesus. Well, who gets into the business? He he, he tells us that when life happens, yeah. you got to pray on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to pray on. Mm -hmm. look, 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 look at verse. Look at the eight portion of verse thirteen, chapter five of James. As I press my point, he says, "Is any among you afflicted? Well, yeah. Yeah. are suffering, mm. going through?" Down and out. Yeah. Broke, busted, and disgusted. Mm. He said, let him pray. James says that if when life happens, you got to pray on. Here James gives us two imperatives of what to do when life happens. And the first one is to pray. How many of y'all know that there's power? Come on, somebody. Yeah. In prayer. How many of y'all know it happens? After prayer, how many yeah. know you get your answer after prayer? How many know the solution comes after prayer? How many y'all know that you can get it done after, after. prayer? Prayer. Yeah. prayer. James says, there anyone among you who is suffering? I don't know anybody in here or all around who is not suffering from something. No. I'm not suffering from finances and yeah. suffering physically, something to suffering mentally, yeah, suffering yeah. economically. Somebody is suffering yeah. from something. Yeah. Mm. James gives us a parable. He says, pray on. Pray on. Yeah. He said, let them pray. He, yeah. he, 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 yeah. just, he, he says now, if, if you're sick, if you're suffering, he said, he, let, let, let them call on the elders of the church and yeah. let them do what? Pray. pray. And throughout scriptures, they're not the only ones, they're not the originators of this, but throughout the scriptures, we are admonished to pray. To pray. Yeah. 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 Not pray just when there is a 911 situation. Not only pray when there is an emergency, but pray every day. I always go to MC Him because he said you got to pray. Pray just to make just it. Just to make it. Yeah. Today. You got to pray in the morning. Pray in the noon. Yes, sir. Pray when the sun Go down. goes down. Pray when it's good. And certainly pray when it's bad. Yeah, yeah. Sir, pray when you got money. And pray when you don't got money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pray when you're feeling good. And pray when you're not feeling good. Pray when it's all right. And pray when it's not all right. James says when life happens, you got to pray on. 
And if you don't believe it, even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, while on earth, he's taught us how to pray. And not only did he teach us how to pray, but he prayed himself. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about the ruler of the universe. I'm talking about Mary's baby, Joseph's stepson. He always got yeah, yeah. down on his knees to pray. You don't believe in him. Every time he got ready to do something, he stopped and prayed about it. Before he fed the 5,000, he prayed. Before he healed the sick, he prayed. Before he conned a storm, he prayed. Before he broke bread with the disciples, he prayed. Before he raised Lazarus from the dead, Jesus took a moment to pray. And guess what? If Jesus, our Savior, the one who died on Calvary, got on Sunday morning with all power in his hand, if he had to pray, guess what? You and I, with our feeble selves, must stop and pray. Because when life happens, we've got to pray on. Yeah, yeah. Pray on through pray our on. pain. Pray on through our suffering. Pray on Pray on when people lie on us. Pray on when people talk about us. Pray on through our issues. We gotta pray on when life happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord have mercy. There's power in prayer. Do you know prayer can remove storms? And if God don't remove the storm, prayer can give us the strength to handle. Yeah, 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 yeah. The storm. Prayer with God can transform trouble into triumph. He can transform darkness into light. He can transform weakness into strength. He can take despair and make it into hope. God can turn your midnight show them in the day. That's why you got to pray on. Got to pray on. That's why James said in the previous chapter, chapter 4, that God giveth Hmm. More grace. And then Paul put his two cents in. He, 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 he said, God will change your circumstance. And if he don't, God's got enough grace to turn your weakness into strength. <laughs> Good God Almighty, won't he do it? I said, won't he do it? Yeah. And so when life happens, you got to pray on. When life happens, you got to get on your knees. Or while you driving your car, you got to pray. You hurt and pray. You down and out. You got to pray. In any time, it's a good time to pray to our God who is in heaven. Yes, we got to pray when life happens because we know at any moment. At any time, yeah. things can change in the twinkling of an hour. Phone call can wreck our world. One call from the doctor can, can knock us down. Uh, one tweet can get us all messed up in the head. That's why you got to pray on, pray on. and pray on yeah. and pray on. And then put some prayer in the bank. So that when you when you feel like you ain't got no credit, when you already got bread, make grab one of them prayers and reach up to heaven and say, God, I need you. God, I gotta have you. I don't know what to do, when to do it, how to do it. I need the old. Yeah, yeah. I need the yeah. just a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. Tell him all, all about, about the troubles. He will what? Hear yeah. our famous cry. Yes, he, he will. will. So, by and by. And when you feel a little prayer will turn. <laughs> you'll know a little fire, a little fire burn. Just have, have a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. And he'll make everything. He'll make everything. Can I get a witness in the house? He'll make everything. All right. The old folk used to say, I found the answer. Yeah. I learned to pray. To pray. Yeah. And so when you need an answer, when you need a solution, when you need healing, when you're struggling with direction, when, when too much of life is going down, pray. So when life happens, pray on. So Paul says, when life happens, press on. James come with this first imperative that he had. 
He says, but, he, but Paul says, press on. Yeah. Then James says, pray on. But then there's one more imperative Come on. that James gives us. Yeah. In that the B portion of verse 13, chapter 5, uh -huh. he says to praise on. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look at that B portion. He says, is any merry? In other words, are any of you happy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let him sing songs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You ought to have a song huh, on your lips. Yeah. yeah. You ought to have music uh, in your heart. Huh. You ought to have a praise uh, that you can break out with. Huh. The Bible says that everything that has what? Breath. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let yeah. the of the Lord say so. So James says, not only do you need to pray on when life happens, he says, praise on when life happens. These are two very important imperatives. You can do one without the other, but it's better to do both. All right, all right. <laughs> See, when Paul and Silas was in prison, they not only prayed, but they also praised God. Yeah. And you do know that on a jail cell was rocking when they got through praising and when they got through praying. That's what happened. Uh, the jail cell problems uh, will break open. Huh? The jail cell issues will break open when you start praising and when you start praying to God. Yeah. Yeah. And for you all, for all of us who are Christians, praise ought to be natural. It ought to be a natural thing Hallelujah. to us. When things are good, it's easy to praise. But when things are bad, you ought to still praise God. You ought to get your praise on if there's only one person here. All right. Or if there's a hundred persons here. Yeah, yeah. You ought to get your praise on no matter what. Yeah. You see, praise, watch this, is the rent you pay mm. on blessings you're already living in. All right, all right. <clears throat> let, me, let me say that again. Yeah. Praise huh. is the rent you pay. On blessing you are already living in. Yeah. See, if you didn't say thank you when you woke up this morning, you're behind on your rent. All right, all if right. If you didn't say thank you for the Come food on. on your table, huh, you're behind on your rent. If you didn't thank God for your housing, for your health, for your wealth, for your finances, for your relationship, for your job, for your retirement, for Medicare, for insurance, all you're right. behind on your rent. You are in a rent on your rent. And you know what happens when you get a rent on your rent. Well, You'll get an eviction notice. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, somebody. The, 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 the sheriff will come and put you out. You got to go. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you better catch up. Yeah. On your rent. Yeah. You better catch up on your rent because yeah. you don't want to be evicted from your blessing. And you do know God got a blessing with your name on it. Yeah. So yeah. praise yeah. on. In the good. Yeah. Pray long. Yeah. In the bad. Yeah. God's been too good for us to be quiet yeah. on him. Yeah. Praise him. James says, if any of you merry, if yeah. any of you happy, he says, sing songs. Yeah. In other words, get your praise on. Whether we got musicians or not, yeah. get your praise on. Yeah, yeah. The Bible says, let the redeemed yeah. of the Lord. So the Bible says praise him and keep on praising him from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. Praise him when it's all right. Praise him when it's not all right. Praise him until your change comes. Praise on. Yeah. James says praise on. When life happens, praise on. Praise him until weakness becomes strength. Praise on until sorrow becomes joy. Praise on when confusion turns into peace. Praise on when despair turns into hope. Praise on until death turns into life. Praise on until darkness turns into light. Press on, church. Pray on, church. Praise on, church. But how do we do it? You follow Jesus. When you follow Jesus, you'll see how he pressed on. How he prayed on. How he uh, uh, praised on. When they got him uh, to Calvary, uh, you do know uh, that they slapped him around. Uh, but he pressed on. Uh, he prayed on. Uh, yeah. And he prayed on. Uh, they slapped him around. Uh, but he kept on going. Uh, yeah. They beat him to a pulp. Uh, but he kept on 
was on. He pressed on. He, he prayed on. He prayed on all the way up to Calvary. Y'all yeah. know Calvary. Yeah. Calvary. Yeah. Where they nailed it. Yeah. To the old rugged cross. Yeah. Calvary. Mm. Where they scorned his name. Calvary. Where they laughed at him. Calvary. Nails in his hands. Spikes in his feet. Calvary. Where he hung his head and died for my sins and yours. Yeah, yeah. Calvary. Where our Savior sacrificed his life for you and for me. But in death, Jesus pressed on. In death, Jesus prayed on. In death, Jesus prays on. He prayed his way into death. And you do know they buried him in a borrowed tomb. But that didn't stop him all right, all right. from pressing on. It didn't stop him from praying on. That didn't stop him from praying on. In the middle of the tomb, he's still pressing on. In the middle of the tomb, he's still praying on. Yeah. In the middle of the tomb, he's still praying on. Yeah. They thought it was on Friday night. Yeah. They didn't see it, but he was pressing on. Friday night, he was still praying on. He was still praying on. He was still doing things. They thought he was dead and gone. Don't let nobody see that when you in the death of life, when life seems to bury you, you keep on pressing on. You keep on praying on. You keep on pressing on. And you will be like Jesus. Because early, yeah. I said early, Sunday morning, Jesus got up. All power. All power. All power in his hands. Because even in death, Jesus was still alive. He was still stronger than anyone that was free. Because he had got up with all power in his hands. That's why you all press on. Yeah. I want you to press on. Press on. Press on. And then why you get why you press on? Pray on. Yeah. I said pray on. Pray on. Pray on. Pray on. Anyhow. Yeah. And while you're pressing and while you're praying, yeah. you got to pray on. Pray. Get your praise on. Praise on. Tell yourself, I'm coming out. Yeah. I'm coming out. I may be buried this and that, but I'm coming out. I may have trouble, but I'm yeah. coming out. Yeah. I'm going to press my way through. I'm going to pray my way through. And then I'm going to pray. My way out. Yeah, That's why you're praying in the morning. Yeah. Praying in the noonday. Praying when the sun goes down. Praising. Praising. Shout hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get your praise on. Matter of fact, stand on your feet. And let's get our praise on. Praising. Praising. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Praise him.
do the right thing to help bring about the best healing. Yes. And if they can't bring about that best healing, God, yes. give them the strength yes. and baby, endure what you allow to come up on our bodies. Yes. God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you will strengthen her, yes. give her what she needs, help her to remain confident in you that you are still a doctor yes. in a sick room. Yes. And you still have the healing power to heal anything that come up on us. God, we love you, we honor you, and we thank you. Help us to press on. Help us to pray on. Yes, God. And then help us to praise on. This is our prayer. We cover you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And hallelujah. Come on, give God a hand praise. Amen. Amen. We know y'all gonna represent. Amen. Keep, keep us posted what's going on. Throw some on Facebook Live. And, and amen. We want to keep up with what's happening. Amen. Amen. Good God bless you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here and uh, go and have a wonderful Sunday. God bless those, our virtual family, who continue to watch us. We know that they don't have to, but we are honored to have you uh, with us every Sunday. Amen. Bless them. So, Let's continue to pray for the Nash family. 11 o'clock Thursday, Man. 8 a.m. Be here to help support this family, please. Let's celebrate uh, the home going of another soldier who's been called home from labor to reward. Yes, God. Amen, amen. Good God bless you. Well, stand on your feet. Everywhere you go. Bless you.